Hello, it's Donna. Welcome to Much Ado About Something. I wanted to go ahead and get on here and make that calendula salve. Since um, there was a need for it in my house. And uh, this is the basic recipe that I usually use here. I've used it for years. It's four ounces of calendula flower oil infusion one ounce of beeswax, and one-fourth ounce of cocoa butter. Now you can use calendula oil that has been infused. I've infused this for at least six weeks or more right out of the bottle. Uh, I've already strained this into this uh, bottle. And so this is just a uh, strained calendula oil with fractionated coconut oil, and you can use that for cuts and bruises. Um, here is some more that I have uh, infused and strained into this amber bottle. This is the four ounces that I have in my pot that I, um, I strained into the double boiler here. That was four ounces of uh, calendula oil that I had. Um, probably infusing for about six to eight weeks. So that's what we, we strained into our double boiler here and mixed with our beeswax and our cocoa butter to make our salve. I grow my own calendula flowers and dry them and save them to make this salve. We use beeswax, just one ounce of beeswax. This is an infusion that I have going that uh, is ready. It's ready. Uh, we're just going to make the one batch of ointment tonight. And you wonder why I make ointment, right? Um, because the ointment is concentrated and it has the beneficial properties. And it stays on the areas you put it on. It's thicker and more of an emollient than, say, a basic oil would be. So I just have the uh, beeswax, the cocoa butter, and then I strain the oil into this bowl, which is, you know, like a, it's just a simple double, double, uh, double boiler is what this is, basically. These are one ounce jars. And basically, that's all there is to it. We'll just have to let the, uh, the salve cool off. Got a little too much in one of them here. let these cool off and cap them up and clean, clean them up and cap them up and there'll be some uh, really good emollient for quite a while there if you have any kind of uh, bruises or areas that need healing that is definitely 
one of the things you can use. Well, thank you for joining me today. Until next time.